Dear learners, I am Ramya, working as assistant professor in the Department of Biotechnology, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science for Women, Hosur. Today, we are going to see about the topic cellular structure of prokaryotes. What is prokaryotes? Prokaryotes are unicellular organisms that lack organelles or other internal membrane-bound structures. Therefore, they do not have a nucleus but instead generally have a single chromosome, a piece of circular double-stranded DNA which is located at the center of a cell called nucleoid. Most prokaryotes have a cell wall outside the plasma membrane. This is the diagram for the prokaryotes. It has pilus, capsule, cell wall, cell membrane or plasma membrane, ribosomes and DNA in the center of a cell with a single flagellum. In this we are going to see cell wall and plasma membrane in detail. The composition of cell wall differs significantly between the domains bacteria and archaea. The composition of their cell walls also differs from eukaryotic cell wall found in plants or fungi and insects. The cell wall functions as a protective layer and is responsible for the organism's shape. Some bacteria have a capsule outside the cell wall. For example, the capsule found in some species enables the organisms to attach to surfaces, protects it from dehydration and attack by phagocytotic cells and increases its resistance to our immune system. Some species also have flagella used for locomotion and pili used for attachment to surfaces. Plasmid which consist of extra chromosomal DNA are also present in many species of bacteria and archaea. Here we can see the universal ancestor divided into domain eukarya, domain archaea and bacteria. About plasma membrane, the plasma membrane is a thin lipid bilayer. The layer is about 6 to 8 nanometer that completely surrounds the cell and separates it from inside from outside. It selectively permeable nature keeps ions, proteins and other molecules within the cell preventing it from diffusing into extracellular environment while other molecules may move through the membrane. This is a structure of plasma membrane. The phospholipid bilayer is present. Cell wall. The cytoplasm of prokaryotic cells has a high concentration of dissolved solutes. Therefore, the osmotic pressure within the cell is relatively high. The cell wall is a protective layer that surrounds some cells and gives them shape and rigidity. It is located outside the cell membrane and prevents osmotic lysis. The chemical composition of cell wall varies between archaea and bacteria. It also varies between bacterial species. Bacterial cell walls mainly have peptidoglycan layer that is composed of polysaccharide chains that are cross-linked by unusual peptides containing both D and L amino acids including D-glutamic acids and D-alanine. Proteins normally have 1-D-L amino acids have specific effect on bacterial cell wall development. There are more 100 different forms of peptidoglycan S-layer proteins are also present on the outside side of cell walls of both archaea and bacteria. Bacteria are divided into two major groups, gram-positive and gram-negative based on their reaction to gram staining. We are going to see in detail about this. The different bacterial response to the staining procedure are ultimately due to the cell wall structure because of the presence of peptidoglycan layer. Gram-positive organisms typically lack the outer membrane found in gram-negative organism. Up to 90% of cell wall in gram-positive bacteria is composed of peptidoglycan layer with most of the rest composed of acidic substances called tecoic acids. Tecoic acids may be covalently linked to lipids in the plasma membrane to form lipotecoic acids. Lipotecoic acids anchor the cell wall to the cell membrane. Gram-negative bacteria have a relatively thin cell wall composed of few layers of peptidoglycan which is surrounded by outer envelope called lipopolysaccharides and lipoproteins. 
This outer envelope is some, sometimes referred as second lipid bilayer. The chemistry of this outer envelope is very different. However, forms that of the typical lipid bilayer that forms plasma membrane. This is the difference between gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria. The diagram says that the thick peptidoglycan layer and thin peptidoglycan layer. When we use the gram staining technique, the thick peptidoglycan layer absorbs crystal violet and thin peptidoglycan layer leaves the crystal violet and shows pink color. Today's question, what is the difference between gram positive and gram negative bacteria? Thank you.